Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today I want to have a little discussion about something that I've been thinking about a lot over the past couple of days, and it's something that I think my fellow global players out there should be thinking about as well. And basically what I'm referring to is the idea that global players might want to consider skipping every single banner until the next major update comes out and that would be the update that's coming to JP in a couple days 4.16.0 now of course the reason I'm saying this is because this next update is going to bring with it a very significant new feature let me just quickly uh, pull up my game here yeah so this right here this is what I'm talking about the ability to exchange extra SSRs that we pull on banners for all three kinds of gacha coins, the uh, yellow coins or gold coins, uh, red coins, and also blue coins. Now, if you guys don't know exactly how it works, let me just quickly explain. Um, essentially, you can exchange any SSR that you have already rainbowed in your box for these coins. We don't know exactly what the exchange rate is gonna be. I'm thinking that for like regular SSRs, it's gonna be one coin, and then for Dokkan Fest units, it's gonna be two coins, and then for uh, LRs, it's gonna be three coins. It could end up being a little bit different than that, but I don't really see them going much higher than one, two, and three coins for the different type of units, but of course, we'll have to see. So yeah, um, we can exchange these SSRs for coins, and as you can see from this graphic here, the type of coin you're getting depends on which banner you pulled the unit from. So the example they gave us here is the SSR Fizz Goku. So if you pull them on a banner that gives you yellow coins for summoning on it, like a legendary summon banner, then he can be exchanged for yellow coins. And if you pull him on a red coin banner, like a Dokkan Festival banner, then he's exchanged for red coins. And of course, if you pull him on a blue coin banner, then he can be exchanged for blue coins. And uh, as I said, this is a very significant new mechanic because these coins are extremely valuable, right? If you collect 400 of them, you can exchange for a Dokkan Festival unit like an STR Cooler or an AGL Bardock, a Tech Gohan, uh, Int Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. When he becomes available with 500 red coins, you can get a Dokkan Fest LR with 500 gold coins. You can get any non Dokkan Fest LR you want. And with the blue coins, you can get Kai's and also the 50% uh, monotype support units. So obviously the more coins you have, the better, the more coins you can get, the better. And this update is just gonna make a huge difference for, you know, all Dokkan players, right? Now, while all of that sounds amazing and I'm super excited for it, there is one very important detail that everybody needs to know. And that is only units that are pulled after the update has been implemented can be exchanged for coins, which means that if you have like a ton of extra copies of whatever unit, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, um, AGL Califlas, Fizz Kales, Fizz Bergamos, I have like a million copies of those in my box, right? Those units cannot be used or exchanged for coins with this new system. So essentially, if you're summoning before the update comes out and you're pulling extra SSRs before this update drops, then you're just throwing away these uh, extra gacha coins you could have got for free, right? These yellow coins, red coins, and blue coins that can go towards a LR Goku and Frieza, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, or whatever else you wanted. SDR Vegito, for example, right? Like these are just coins that you would be missing out on. You can kind of think of this as like when we first heard about the gacha coin system coming to JP, a lot of global players were like, yo, don't summon until the system drops because it would just be such a waste to miss out on all of these potential coins, right? So I think it's a very similar situation. And that's why I'm saying like global players, man, if you guys can resist, then it might not be a bad idea at all to just not summon you know, just skip every single banner until this new update 4.16.0 where we can exchange SSRs for coins drops. Now, obviously, I recognize how hard it is to, you know, skip banners and just not summon for an extended period of time. Like those of you that watch me regularly know that 
I have the worst self-control in the world, and I don't think I've ever skipped a banner since starting this game, you know? Like, even the bad banners, I've at least dropped a couple of multis, so I definitely feel people on that. But the good thing is that I don't think we're gonna have to wait that long for this update to come out on Global. Okay, if I had to guess, if I had to bet, I would say within the next two months, so sometime in late April, early May, we should be getting this update, 4.16.0, and everybody will be able to, you know, summon again guilt-free. And the reason I say that is because that's usually the timeline, the time frame for these major updates to go from JP to Global. If you look at some of the, you know, other big changes to the game that have come out on JP, usually it does take about a month, month and a half, two months, you know, at most to come out. So I definitely think it's going to happen before the anniversary. I would say sometime in early May is a very good guess. And between now and then, there aren't going to be any you know, crazy game-breaking characters or like must summon banners, in my opinion. Okay, like of course there's gonna be Sane Day, which is in about a week from now. And then we have a Dual Dokkan Fest. Oh, let me actually make my gameplay go away. There we go. Yeah, so there's gonna be a Dual Dokkan Fest with uh, PyCon and Janemba. And then we have the uh, Super Saiyan Kid Goten and Super Saiyan Kid Trunks banner. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there might be something else in between, but I don't think there's enough time actually for more than that. So yeah, the next banner is going to be the Saiyan Day banner. This of course was last year's Saiyan Day banner. And uh, based off last year's Saiyan Day banner, I'm going to say this year's is going to be a solid banner, but not crazy. I mean, if you look at the AGL Bardock banner, it wasn't that amazing although these guys at the time hadn't been featured like a million times so they were still a pretty big deal and this year i do expect the lr blue boys the super saiyan blue kaku goku and super saiyan blue evolution vegeta to finally make you know a return so that could be kind of a hard skip for some people but with that said the rest of the banner should be just okay and if you guys don't really really want the new Sane Day unit that bad, then it's probably not going to be too hard of a skip. Of course, we still have to wait to see what the unit actually is, we have to see what his animations look like, what his kit looks like, and all that stuff, so that could definitely complicate things a bit, but just based off previous Sane Day banners, I think you'll be okay skipping this year's as well. Now, moving on to the other ones, after the Sane Day banner, I think it's going to be the Dual Dokkan Fest for PyCon and Janemba. And both these units are good, but I wouldn't say they're like broken. So once again, I don't think they're must-haves. Now, their banners were quite solid. Um, as you can see, two Dokkan Fest LRs per banner. The PyCon banner had the uh, five-year Gogeta and the three-year Gogeta, and then the Janemba banner has the five-year Vegito and the three-year Vegito, and then a couple of dual Dokkan Fests. So we have the Azamasu and Trunks here. And on the other side, we have the Broly and Gogeta. And, you know, like, I can't lie. Both these banners are very good. All the units are uh, extremely usable, still very much relevant in today's meta. And it's going to be kind of tough, I think, for some people to skip just because of the featured units. But you got to keep in mind, there is a much, much, much better Dual Dokkan Fest coming a couple months after in the form of the 6th anniversary. So if you just think about that, then it shouldn't be too hard to skip this Dual Dokkan Fest either, especially because I think PyCon and Janemba are just like very solid Dokkan Fest units. I don't think they're like super busted by any means, especially by today's standards where every new release is just more and more broken. So yeah, that is going to be after the same day stuff. And then moving on to the last banner I think we'll get before the update drops, which is the one for the Super Saiyan Kid Trunks and Super Saiyan Kid Goten. And this is probably going to be the easiest skip, for most people at least, out of the uh, three I talked about, or the four I talked about, because uh, these guys as characters I don't think are like super duper hype for most of the player base. Obviously, there are some huge 
Goten and Trunks fans out there, and I understand that. If you guys must summon, then by all means, don't let me stop you. But uh, it's not like a Broly, it's not a Gogeta, it's not a Vegito, a UI Goku, or anything on that level. So I think in terms of overall hype from the community, it's not going to be as high for these boys, right? And the rest of the banner, we got the GoBros once again. It makes sense that they're here, but they've just been featured a lot over the past couple of months, right? And then we have this Dual Dokkan Fest. We have Fizz, Angel, Golden, Frieza, who in my opinion is one of the best TURs in the game. This guy's inclusion is not ideal. And then we have the Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. So just a, you know, decent Dokkan Fest banner. Nothing too special. And uh, as I said, I think it's going to be the easiest skip of the banners we talked about today. And then after this banner comes out, I think we're going to get the update. So if you guys were able to hold off for that long, then you would have been able to you know, save a ton of stones, and then around that time, we should be getting maybe a global first unit for the Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day celebration, so you can spend a ton of stones on that banner, and also be able to exchange your extra SSRs for the coins as a reward, right? So, of course, I'm not telling anybody to skip all these banners, especially with Saiyan Day being relatively hype, and uh, there's a dual total confess in between, and all that stuff, so if you guys must summon, then, you know, do it, right? But I just think it might be a good idea. It might be something that's smart to consider since you will be foregoing quite a few of these uh, gacha coins if you summon prior to the update. I mean, if you are able to hold off for that long, like for two months into May, then you might as well just like keep saving until the anniversary, right? Because no matter what they drop, during Goku, Gohan, and Goten Day, and then probably like a trap banner in June, they're not gonna be better than the anniversary, okay? Like almost every banner that comes out between now and the anniversary can kind of be considered as a trap banner. I mean, I know there's gonna be some good banners in between, but they're not gonna be better than the Dual Dokkan Fest. So the choice is ultimately up to you. The purpose of this video is just to inform everybody about this upcoming update and why it might be a good idea to just you know, hold on to your stones until then. But uh, let me know, guys, in the comments down below what your plan is going to be with your stones from now until then. As I said, I don't know exactly when the update is going to drop, but if I were to bet, it would be sometime in early May within the next two months. And uh, obviously, I'm going to keep summoning in between because I got to do it for the content. But if I didn't have this channel, I would probably go very, very light on all subsequent banners between now and the release of the update. So yeah guys, that is going to be today's video, that's all I gotta say. Um, hopefully this video helped some of you guys out there make that decision about you know what to do with your stones and maybe got some of you guys some extra gacha coins if you decide to you know hold off until 4.16.0. But anyways, that is going to be today's video guys, thank you so much for watching, as always if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.